What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle, my name is Splattercat and we are here at the Nerdcastle today with the next episode of Sunless Sea. I'm pretty excited, I'm pretty excited. Right where we left off we had taken a shady deal, we gotta move souls around, we gotta go to Pol uh, Port Palmerston, I think is what it was, and I figured out where that is. I've got like a small map from Fallen London, where it's like charted areas and whatnot, so I vaguely know where it's at, but I don't know 100%. So I don't know if we should do that right now or we should keep our terror low. I'm a little bit concerned about terror as it stands right now because the last time we had too much terror we ended up having nightmares all the time and I really can't continue wetting the bed. It's making all the other sailors talk about me and make fun of me and it's very very embarrassing. I think we are in for some very very dark driving for a little bit unfortunately as I get away from that buoy. So I suppose we'll go by Hunter's Keep. And I'd like to fight another ship if possible. That hundred, that hundred doubloons we managed to land for ourselves, those echoes, that's really going to help us out. A hundred is a lot of money here. Now, from what I understand, Port Palmerston is out somewhere to the east of Mutton Island. Like, there should be, like, a big island over here. The map that I have that's from Fallen London has this landmass. It has a big landmass down here. And then it has a landmass over here that it has marked as Mount Palmerton. And so I'm assuming Mount Palmerton is like on the other side of this buoy or something. I don't know. We'll find out once we get over there, but still a little bit of exploration to be had. I'm trying not to ruin the game for myself, but you know what? This area is so heavily policed by ships and so heavily traveled that there's no way that they wouldn't have had all this charted. And so I don't really feel like that would be realistically outside the confines of your average sea captain's resources, a map of the small bay in which he operates. We ran into that buoy. Hopefully it's not the worst for wear, and hopefully it's not one of those weird razor blades. Sometimes you come across bad buoys, and bad buoys are, they're dicks. They'll come at you with a switchblade. They'll take you out, so watch out. I mean, it's a real thing. Let's go ahead and make port right now, because our fuel is looking a little bit iffy. We've got some information from the tomb colonies. So we'll collect our messages from the harbor master. The blind bruiser wants a word. Damn, this guy is always trying to hit us up. Something changed in the neath and someone wants to sign on. All right, the alarming scholar. Let's see here. Oh, the alarming scholar didn't want anything. We have a couple of secrets too. If you look in our hold, we have three secrets right now. So technically we could level up our character a couple times and get some better stats, but you only get one point for whatever statue or like whatever stat it is that you're raising you only get one point so unfortunately I don't know if that's the best way to use our secrets I'd rather sit on them for a little while and like wait and see I guess we've got enough echoes to I suppose we could go carouse so let's do that first carouse in the blur we got 80% chance of success sure why not we lost 30 echoes we lost five terror. Wow, that is super expensive for how little terror you lose. And so we gain... Yeah, that doesn't seem like an efficient way to get anything done. That value seems really, really low for how much money we lose. Yikes. So I guess there's another group of immigrants that want to go to Vendor Bite, so you can continue that. I guess that's repeatable. So we can make a corpse run if we wanted to. With the new recruits, who do we have? We have a Zailer. Five Echoes. We've got enough Sailors right now, I think. Instead, one would think that we could probably make another run to Vendor Bite. I think. So let's take on another group of Tomb Colonists. And let's go to the shops. And let's maybe see if... We can find some of those candles. The Foxfire candles. They're 40 here. I don't remember what the price was on those. I seem to remember it not being 40, though. So that might not be a good run for us. Instead... Yeah... How many echoes do we have? So instead what I think I'm gonna do is let's take on Ooh, 
Ooh, do we have enough? I need 105. Let me guess. I, oh, I have 114. Okay, good. So let's take on the mushroom wine. And then we'll also go back to London. And we'll submit our port reports. And so, vendor bite we have. And we gain one admiralty favor. We have five. And so we no longer have that. They gave us ten echoes. It's not really enough. We have no appointment, but apparently I'm going to show you in anyways very well. And so that's what he wants. What does he need? Information? So what can I do? Submit a revelatory chart. Never seen that around either. Okay, well, seeing as we don't really have any of the things that we need, we could go to our lodgings. It'll cost us 10 echoes to rest for the night. And then we get... We lose a little bit of terror, and then we'll also get that thing. Is that still in our hold? The restful night. Okay, so that strengthens us against it. Let's go ahead and leave. And so having left port... I probably should have got more fuel. Let's go back and get more fuel. I mean, actually, we can only afford one more fuel, so why bother? With our map, we've got to go east, so we'll go to Mutton Rock first. Let's try and stay in the light as much as possible. And how many pages? Or I'm sorry, we have page core 26, so we need to get 237 more fragments. Alright, we're probably going to end up fighting some of these little guys down here. I'll probably partake in that combat in order to ensure... That we don't end up with... Oh god, our fuel is looking bad. But we don't really have the money to refuel ourselves. I may be making a fundamental error right now. Let's go to Mutton Island. Z-Bats cry out there. Nothing like birds. Alright, well let's go to Quaker's Haven. We'll stop off here and maybe see if we can't grab some more fuel. So fuel is 20 here, and it's super cheap. Oh my god. So does anywhere have good prices in this game? Like, because honestly, from what I'm seeing, the game really extorts you for all of your goods. Yeah. I suppose we... What I'm doing right now, I should probably let you know. So basically, I'm trying to raise cash to get to Godfall. We may have to stop off at Mutton Island one more time in the future in order to make sure that we have enough fuel to get there and back. But basically, I'm making a run to Godfall because they like the wine, and I think we get 150... Echoes for the wine. I mean, the journey is long, so I don't know if we're going to have enough fuel to make it. We'll try. Worst case is we'll row, I suppose. Oh, we don't want you. We don't want you at all. Go away, meanie pants. That ship we cannot handle. I can promise you that. I fought one of those before, and it was a swift and untimely death. We died almost instantly. Okay, so we're in Godfall, and then we'll do of wine. And so, mostly echoes, but here's Cain at Paper Money. The whimpering coins of polythreme, or polythreme, I don't even know how to say that word, and a strange glass token that might be for from far Irem. Donations, the Abbot Captain confirms. Oil grims are generous. And so now we have 169, so we can actually refuel properly. And we lost all of our casks, so we came out on top with a 50 echo reward right there. They have shops here? I don't think that they do, but it was worth a look. We're going to wait here for a little while until that ship pisses off. Fed the crew on the 5th. Looks like he's actually just circling, waiting for us to go. So I'm gonna wait till he has to come about in order to stop us. We'll try it here. He's gonna have to make a gamble, and I'm pretty sure I can outrun him. I mean, we have pretty high veils. I think I'll speak to him, and I'll probably trade in a secret to get mirrors. Oh, never mind. I thought 50 was the maximum stat. I was wrong. 
Apparently, invite them to dine with you. This is a placeholder for a storyline associated with the character through line. You need a key of faces one. Okay. So I suppose that's for later in development. I guess I'll raise my mirrors for now. So we lost a secret. I'll save the other two for the moment. And then we'll continue back on up to Mutton Island. And then once we get there, we'll... Actually, we can make it all the way back to London. Let's make the London run. I realize that this probably wasn't the best use of my time. But we made a little bit of cash, and that'll allow us to fuel back up to 10. We'll make another run back on up with the Tomb Colonists to Vendor Bite. And... Hopefully that'll see us through. A fallen stone. Now and then, rocky fragments fall from the roof of the Neath. The decks of older ships are pocked with scars. The sound is one no landlubber knows and no sailor will ever forget. This one has smashed the glass of a deck binnacle. Ill omen, one sailor cries. The god in the roof. Storm is angry. An absurd superstition. So we can say do nothing or we can make a sacrifice to avert misfortune. In the stories, Storm is the noisiest, angriest, and least reasonable of the Z gods. Better not take chances. I don't know if in this game the gods are actually a real thing. I guess we'll stave it off. So we lost a supply. We lose one terror. We have one stone, a storm, and a salt. And we have storm's attention. An ancient anger knows you. Oh, that's not good. I don't want to know him. I don't want to know him at all. Let's see if we can make the flighty trip back to London, because the prices here in Quaker's Haven are ridiculous, and I don't feel like paying that much for supplies. We can also deliver supplies to the sisters if we're feeling good about it. I think they give you ten. There's an auroral megalops coming straight for us. I suppose I could have murdered him if I had wanted to, but... I'd rather just get into port in London and make do so that we can make our trip out to Port Palmerston as well. Which is still quite a ways out. Let's eat. Oh, I tried to go past so that we could eat him. Because our hunger is a little bit high. We clipped the buoy on the way in too. We're getting known for our terrible... They're calling us One-Eye because we're doing something terrible. The one-legged captain because we're always running into buoys and going in circles trying to go back to where we came from. All right, let's drop on off in here if we can outrun the killer crustaceans. Okay, and so the blind bruiser always wants a word. Let's go to the shops, and we need to buy ourselves a bunch more fuel. So I think seven fuel should be enough for the next run. Foxfire candles are kind of expensive here, so I don't know. We'll keep an eye on the prices. There's 40 and 20. I mean, I don't even know what else they're trying to sell around here. A lot of these seem to be reasonably cheap, but these are probably... I have no idea, honestly. We'll keep an eye on the goods when we go up to Vendor Bite. Let's go ahead and we'll go to London, and we'll ferry another group. Oh, maybe not. I thought there was another group of vendor bite people here. This might not be worth the trip then. We get seven fuel. I think I'd actually rather jump up a little bit higher. Let's go up to ten fuel and let's make the run to Port Palmerston now because we are carrying around that stuff. It says that we're going to be paid back. Our terror is slightly iffy. I think by the time we get to Port Palmerston it should be really, really high. And so we'll have to fix that eventually, but what are you going to do about it, if you know what I mean, so. Let's continue to hustle our way down here. Restless nights, in the watches of the night. In the watches of the night, your pad, you pad softly past the hatch of the crew quarters. A man cries out softly in his sleep, desperately, and then another. The captain can't be seen to take these things seriously. Inquire about their dreams the next morning with a 31% chance, but we only have a page score of 26, which means that we've only got a 31% chance, chance of succeeding. I'm not going to gamble on it right now. We'll let that event go by. We fed the crew. Okay, that's fine. 
We can hunt crabs on the way back if we need to. We may be able to stop off by the Abbey and get some gossip as well. I don't know if you can visit multiple locations more than once for more port reports, but I should probably be doing that as well just for tiny little bits of cash. I didn't think about it while I was down at the monk place, but you know, this is kind of like my third run, so the skills will obviously build with time if we continue to play this game. Stop at Abbey Rock and see if they've got anything to offer us. Also, we'll avoid that big guy. Abbey Rocks, we can trade supplies, we can compile a fort report. Oh yeah, so we can do it every time we stop by. We'll give them local news. Actually, we can offer the local news to the people that are way out in the middle of nowhere. So we can watch again, and then we got five more fragments, which puts us at 105. I can't afford to drop off any supplies right now. And so let's just be on our way. Let's see, the crawling stars, the lookout shouts, far above the false stars in the cavern roof are shifting, a rare and ominous event. What now? Eyes on the deck, forbid them to look. You can't really stop them, but you can at least discourage discussion. They won't like it, but it's safer. Or we can go with a 50-50. If the new shape is well omened, your crew may be cheered. Who knows? 50-50. And so bats is the luck, a gap tooth stoker avers. All agree, leathery but lucky. You've lost five terror. You were fortunate. Yeah, we gambled and won. I like dancing with the devil, so... I am a gambler. I am definitely a gambler. Or a, not a gambler. A gambler. Oh, please don't touch me. Come on, stoke them fires. Get the hell away from that thing. I don't even know what that is, let alone I don't want to fight it at all. Oh, there's more of them out here? Oh, God. So we've actually got to qu make quite the risky run here. Not to be alliterative and too aggressive of a fashion or too promiscuous of a fashion, but we have to run past all of these in order to get to Mount Palmerston, I think. It should be over here somewhere. Discovered Station 3. Depot A. So we can stop off right here so we get more fragments. I don't see anything out here that looks like Port Palmerston. It might be even further out. I don't know. The map didn't appear as though it was on a very good scale. Let's stop here. We'll see if there's any way to get our health back up or our hunger. Station 3. Machinery hums behind high steel walls. Up the hill, there are visible outlines of warehouses and a building with a spire, but the lamps are low where they burn it all, and your ship is the only one in the harbor. So we can't really do anything right here. The only way past the walls is unimposing, but a sturdy-looking gate of triple-barreled silvery metal. A sign beside it reads, Deliveries. The metal is steel hard and icy to the touch. Attempts with chisels and crowbars fail. Perhaps you could bring the ship's guns to bear, but no. If you return with a certain delivery, the gate will open. You'll know if you find it. Soothe and Cooper long box. Station 3 is looking a little bit dangerous. Train your telescope on shore. You stand on the high point of your ship and look to shore. There is a steeple building on the horizon, by far the largest thing in sight. No cross marks the top of it, nor any other symbol you recognize. You now have a port report, Station 3. Okay, so now it becomes, do we risk keeping to going east because our supplies are looking iffy? Let's take a chance. If we die, we die. I think we can make it. Let's go. Worst case is we'll fight one of these giant crabs and maybe that'll put us out on top. Stalagmites loom in the distance like the cranes of the wolf stack docks, but vaster, vaster. The Corsair's forest, the lookouts are watchful. I'm reading from the bottom right hand corner right now in case you were wondering. We fed the crew again. So restless nights again. Let's ignore it. We found Massey's shaft. I don't really know if I want Massey's shaft anywhere near me, but we found it. Nonetheless, it doesn't appear as though you can dock anywhere near it. Ooh, and we've got a steamship, which is probably going to outrun us. 
It looks a bit bigger and meaner than us. And it's coming about pretty rapidly. Oh, Born Vernatus or Born Vetus Pillar. What is this? Looks like the dock is off to our right. We don't have much of a choice. So we're gonna stop off. We got Guider's Morn. Is that can we go under that? Does that go over our heads? Oh, let's find out. Learning experience, here we go. Oh, thank God. I don't know what that is either. It looks like it has a lot of cannons, though. Oh, ass. It's gonna get us. I think it can't go within a certain... We'll dock. So, Guider's Morn. An evening at the Errant Limpet. It's gonna lower our terror. It's gonna cost us some money. 50 Echoes. Oh my god, we can't afford that. The Errant Limpet. So, they have supplies. That's good. Really, really expensive supplies. Insanely expensive supplies. If you could buy supplies, though, and run them out to here, we could make a tidy little profit. Mushroom wine sells a little higher here. A firkin of honey. A firkin. That sounds like a sex thing. Like a toy. Hold on, let me get my firkin. Oh, my firkin's out of batteries. Bzz. God. Well. Sorry, small little game crash right there. It was Fraps' fault, not Sunless Seas. But I'll edit it in. I think I'm going to break the episode off right here to be safe. I think we might consider running goods in between here and there. It looks like they're buying supplies here for a lot of money. And so I'm thinking that if we can buy supplies in London and swing them out to here, we'll be in really, really good shape. Tomorrow we'll go ahead and take a walk around Guider's Morn and we'll see what kind of random rumors and whatnot are around. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerd Castle for another episode of Sunless Sea. I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Take care out there, everybody, and I do.